Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Creative Redundancy back again here with another video. Although I wasn't gonna go live, I decided, eh, why not? I'll go live. Now in this uh, video, it's gonna be about reusing everyday items and open chat about it and sort of like a game of some sorts. Now everyone knows I like to reuse stuff as much as I can. In this video, it's the we and wh me, whoever is going to be around, we're going to go explore together how something could be reused into something useful. Now, I'll just wait for some people to drop in before I start it off. Now, before I started off, I've actually kind of did this in the last live stream, which is the previous video in the list of videos, and I kind of brought this up, and I, you know, it was kind of fun, you know, and got uh, the interaction from the side chat, more, made it more interactive, kind of like a fun exercise to do just to consider stuff, random stuff considering it for other reasons, maybe to help solve a problem, an everyday occurrence or something that happens every so often and you're trying to find a solution for it, or maybe for survival type of reasons where it'd be like a water bottle or whatever. So let's see who's in. Oh, it's H-Top Music, welcome man, hello. Yep. Hello everyone, just waiting for some people to drop in before I start off the main content of this video. Get your thinking caps on, we're going to be thinking outside the box, really, on this video, or on this live stream. So let's see what's going to go down. Yo, it's Rollis! How's it going, man? Good afternoon to you, too. <laughs> well, someone's having some fun. Oh, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Bet you're having lots of fun over there. Welcome to... Well, welcome... Get to the farm... Dash... CZ. C as in cat, Z as in zebra. Wait for a few more people to jump in. I need at least four or five people in to start this kind of mini game, mental exercise, thinking outside the box. So, go grab that coffee, tea, drink, water. Get your thinking caps on. Get the Google search. Just in case you don't know anything about it, research it while we're doing this. It's all good. Alright, alright. I'll call you CZ then. Hoping... This one person will come on. <laughs> I was just in a previous live stream and I said that I'd be on in 5-10 minutes, so... And I guess it hasn't been that long, it's only been a few minutes, I guess, so... I'll keep on waiting for a little bit longer, maybe another 4-5 minutes at the most, before I start the intro.
Time to whip out the intro here. Alright, now let's get into the main part of the video, or more of the main part of the video. Hello everyone! You know who it is, it's CR. It's, it's good to be back! I want to welcome everyone that's on right now. Anyone watching, uh, once it's been processed, you can play along too, kind of see, maybe we thought of, maybe you're thinking of something that the side chat or me haven't thought of, you can leave it in the comments down below, or if you're playing right now, or kind of with the live chat right now, you can play along and have some fun, let's explore thinking outside the box. Bring out the chat here. Oh, finally, there we go. Third World with Preppers here. Hello. Welcome, man. Oh, I, oh, now I got five people. Hey, if you're on right now on the live chat and can participate, uh, give me a big, uh, a quick hi towards me. So I know that you're in for kind of thinking outside the box. Hey, it's gray 1107 or 1107 or 1007 or however you want to say it. And, of course, Sue Nelson's in the house. Welcome. Of course, I just saw you guys earlier. But welcome to my live stream anyways. All right. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Give me a big thumbs up or hi right now if you want to kind of participate in this kind of thing that I kind of tried out the last live stream. It was kind of successful, so I'm going to bring it back and maybe it'll be more of a series or continuation and let's see what we can do. Alright, as long as you can hear me, Rollis, and maybe if you need to pull over to type something or whatever. If you're a little late, that's cool. I mean, understandable. Alright, whew. Alright, so I'm going to bring out an item randomly and we're gonna think about how we if you had it in front of you I'll try to show 360 view give you size comparison you know what I feel when I touch it smell it or you know sense it and we're gonna see what we can reuse it for where it's for survival reasons an everyday type of problem maybe a situational problem or a seasonal type of problem like or whatever so let me go grab an item and let's start it all right all right I think I'm gonna bring out this yeah I'm gonna bring out this item we're gonna start start off easy easy I'm gonna bring out let's see here let's bring it out Everyone knows what this is, a golf ball. All right, guys. Besides a golf ball, now, this is a ball, obviously, right? So it rolls, and also you can play golf with it, entertain yourself in the meantime. So, let's see what you guys, your thoughts on this before I start saying a bunch of stuff. Well, first and foremost, I can roll it in my hands, so maybe I can use it to massage or drop it. <laughs> massage my hands with. While I'm waiting, let's see what you guys got. Oh, all right, Sue's got a massage with your feet. You know, maybe, maybe Sue. Provide the only downside is because it's round, all cylinder. I'm not, I mean, sphere shape instead of cylinder, it's not the roll like uh, like a bun, for example, or a rolling pin. Let's see. Ah, yeah. Monkey fist, right? Third roll prepper, yep. You could do that with this. That's for sure. 
Yep, yep, great, yep, same thing, yep, yep, good, good, good. Any other uses for survival related reasons or to help an everyday problem or maybe something like, I don't know, I'm trying to use it to massage something or whatever. It might work, Sue, I'm not not sure it might work with like your thighs or something like that let's say you get a knot in your leg or on your back you know someone can put this over your back and kind of rub it and maybe it might help not sure because i'm not in pain right now so i can't tell because obviously it feels good anyways yeah anyways let's talk about that <laughs> part of it all right let's see what we got here all right hot suit uh zz said hot glue some together and pink green and make a caliper direct de decoration for your house or garden. Hey, that's not a bad idea. I guess if you got enough of them, you can kind of make something green, yellow, and reuse it. I guess those ball, these balls were meant to handle probably in the sun or the water, so they might, it might work actually. That's not a bad idea for decoration. Easy to go do, not that difficult, I guess. I guess if you got hot glue or something like that to uh, con 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 connect them together. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, cut it open and use it as a rubber band stuff for cordage. Um, I'm not sure. I've never cut one open. I'm not sure if it's continuous enough that you're actually don't get a good enough length. Maybe, I'm not sure. Yo, it's JJR Survival. What's up, man? Um Okay. JJR, you just came in. What I'm basically doing is kind of more an interactive kind of for lack of a better word, a game. But basically the last live stream I was showing random items on the screen, right? Trying to show you guys 360 feeling it, touch, spell, height, and all that stuff. And basically, we're gonna see if we're gonna be able to try to reuse it, you know, uh, a thinking outside of the box kind of game, you know, just something for fun. But basically, thinking outside the box, seeing how we could reuse this item if we had this item for in a survival situation maybe reusing it for an everyday type of reasoning uh, something to help you if the problem arises uh, maybe it's a seasonal type of thing that you need to take care of and something like, you can make something with XYZ alright all right, da 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 da. <laughs> they look like the balls I use in the fish tanks to filter, but I don't know. Hmm, I'm not sure either. Uh, I wish I had some of the other people that know about fish and fishing a little bit more. I would ask them. No, oh, that's okay too. That's okay too, CZ. Because remembering some of these craft ideas can be kind of adapted for survival reasons and some of these things that are related to survival reasons like solar for example well they could be used for your garden too just probably not as pretty no that's okay JJR that's okay man I wasn't really sure where I was going with that cause so the title was probably not exactly what I had in mind but I got the title down now, so the wording and all that stuff, so, alright. Alright, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stupid chair. Anyways, the item was a golf ball. Golf ball. Everyone knows what a golf ball is. And you know, like I said, you can play golf with it, I guess. I tried to fix my chair here. Not sure why it's on. Oh. 
stupid uneven chair. All right, so it was a golf ball. Of course, you can swing it. We already had monkey fist. Uh, Sue Nelson said something about extracting the rubber out and trying to make cordage out of it. I'm not sure. Not sure if it's going to be continuous enough and stretchy and usable. Might work. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, I did it. I have no idea here. And uh, CZ about the filtration, it, it might help you pre-filter, but you would still have to probably boil. So for bigger particles, it might help. Not sure. And you, you know, it might depend on the tools you got. I mean, if you don't got the right tools to do it, you might not be able to do it. All right. Yep, 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 yep. Self-defense. Like some other people said, the monkey fist. Yep. Any more ideas? Any more ideas here? So let's see here. Everyone's been saying more of a self defense thing. Uh, there was a cordage thing. Um, I guess, in theory, you probably, since everyone was saying about the monkey fist and so, something like that, I guess with certain other things, you might be able to use it with as a way to baton with, to hit something with. Maybe as a really small but as a small type of hammer or something like that I mean remember these golf balls get hit by a, dr a driver usually right so they get hit quite hard so I mean you you might be able to pound an alien especially if you add something onto it for more leverage like a stick or whatever let's see Okay, let's see. Well, on top of the gravel to filter out larger stick. Okay, okay, ZZ. Uh, Z, C, Z. You figure I would be able to say that faster. Alright, GGR says, uh, fake egg bait for a trap, make it look like an egg in a nest. Okay, 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 I can see something like that. Bait something in, like, a larger creature, like, Let's say a snake, for example, right? Bait it in so it thinks it's an egg, and but secretly you're trying to trap it. I'm thinking you're thinking something like that. Uh, let's see. See, CZ says, uh, place in flat water pan to keep baby quill and ducks from drowning. Um, I'm not sure. Don't these? I'm pretty sure these these sink, don't they? Right. Golf ball sink. That's why they got those special rigs to get those balls out of the golf courses, right? When they're in the water hazards. Because I'm pretty sure these do not float. Not without some sort of modification or some sort. But good, good. Let's see what else everyone's got. Hey, it's Pappy. Welcome, man. How's it going? Hello, Outdoor Air. Welcome. Yeah, I'm doing good, man. Just in case anyone's not familiar with what I'm doing right now, I'm kind of... We're kind of playing like an outside-the-box type of thinking game. I'm going to show an item, and we're going to openly... You and everyone here, we're going to openly chat about the uses of it. To either help you in the survival situation, if if the item was there, maybe the item's next to you and you have a problem and you're solving it using it, like a DIY life hack, that kind of thing, or would say just to help you reuse it so you can make something just to make your garden even look better. I mean to track more birds, to track more insects, or something like that. 
or bees or something like that. Yo, bu bu bug out Brad, what's up, man? Hopefully you caught what I just said, so I don't have to repeat that for a little bit. All right, all right, all right. All right, so like I said, the first item was a golf ball. And we've already said about the self-defense thing, maybe some cordage, maybe a filter. I'm not sure about the cordage or the filter because I haven't specifically tried that yet. But definitely the self-defense thing. Yeah. Uh, anyone else? Anyone else? I kind of mentioned it, trying to using it as a hammer. I mean, like I said, these were always meant to be hit quite hard. So I, a nail... I, I think I've done this once with a nail. It was po it's possible. All right, let's see. All right, all right. Okay, you could use also use it as a part of a deadfall trap trigger. Have it under a stick, holding up the weight and bait between the stick and the ball. That would go off easier. All right, all right, JJR. All right, that's something different. A little bit different. I'm definitely gonna keep tamps on that. Uh, remember that one here. That's good. That's good. Anyone else before I start off the next item here in about 15 seconds, give or take? Anyone else with an idea about it? Like I said, it's dimpled. Like, obviously, a golf ball's dimpled. I've already said something maybe massaging your back, let's say your friend's backs hurting or something like that like uh pulled muscle or something it might help might help right roll it around might help kind of relax you a little bit maybe get that knot out of your back or something like that put it against your chair or get that knot out of your back i mean everyone knows when you get a knot in your back it hurts you gotta try to stretch it out and you know you just feel it for the next every you know hours or whatever uh, all right, yeah, all right, all right, all right, let's see, next item here is coming up right about, all right, all right, all right, next item. Since everyone's here, I'm gonna give you guys another warm up, warm up kind of item. Now this is gonna be much more easier to kind of go by, but because it's definitely a tool, I'm gonna show off a tool. But I know there's gonna be, it's gonna seem simple, but but it's get it get that out of the way. But I'm gonna bring out a utility type of knife, like this one. Now, obviously, the first thing, cutting, right? It's a cutting type of tool. Yeah, that's a given. So anything cutting related, yeah, okay, that's a given. Well, let's try to think outside the box here. Let's, you know, well, minus the lanyard. Let's just say this was just a basic thing. You just happened to find it. Now, Yeah, and try not to pop up the stuff out, but... Alright, let's see what you guys got for this one. This one here. He's got some ideas here. Think something to consider. Now, these are snap-off ones, okay? So, maybe that, <clears throat> maybe that might help. Uh, of course, it's plastic. There's metal ones, but... Let's assume this is you know, like a utility knife that you might have nearby. <clears throat> so, cutting. Uh, let's say Feather sticks, I guess, right? I guess you can make feather sticks. Uh, maybe minorly carp something. Maybe strain something out, I don't know. So like I said, 
these break off. So I guess you, well, I guess the nerf thing is, use the back of it as a striker for like a fair ride, right? So you can drive sparks into something. Probably not quite as good as like a hacksaw, a hacksaw blade or, because it's not as thick, but you do have access to it and it's a cutting tool. Uh, let's see, I'll sh let's see right here. You can see those uh, kind of waves in there, so I don't know. Can someone have an idea about that? I'm not sure. I mean, these pieces that come out, you know, not sure. All right, all right, all right. So third board proper said you could break them into pieces and make arrow tips for hunting. You might be able to, but remember, these are more like for these kind. Specifically, it's more like when you break off a piece, it looks like a parallelogram, and a parallelogram is basically well, two sides. Two sides are are will never meet, but their and their two sides are like what. At an angle, it could be possible. I guess. I guess it could be possible. I guess if you uh, break it right, maybe get it more pointy, it might work. Let's see what else you guys got. Anyone else? Anyone else? I have, I think I have one additional idea. Because everyone's just considering the blade part, the tool part right now. Now, I've seen this on other channels. I haven't specifically been able to do this or replicate this in a well way. But I have seen on, with maybe not specifically with this one, but with other ones, where if you... If the blade is the same size as something more common like a hacksaw blade, you could actually change it out. But for so instead of this, you would have a different blade or a hacksaw blade, or but it would have to fit inside, and you know might not work for what you have. But that's something to consider too. Uh, let's see here. Well, I, I guess you probably could use this for maybe as a way to make not just arrow but maybe a spear type of point. It would be kind of weak or thin, but it would definitely slice, so might help. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, okay, okay, Sue, let's see, scrap some of that plastic, oh yeah, 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 I guess you could scrape them off, right, I guess if you, this is what you had, you can break off a piece, scrape some off, maybe on the back side, and try to get your a fire going with that, that's possible, you wouldn't be able to do it a lot, but, it's possible, okay, I got Okay, okay. C Z C Z said, I saw something to do. Oh, I saw someone do the hacksaw thing. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Probably saw the same video. I've seen it. I haven't perfected it or gotten it perfectly, but I guess if you got the right size, it might work. You know, as a handle. All right, oh, all right. That's good. That's good. You guys are nicely warmed up here. You guys are nicely warmed up here. That's awesome. Because it's just going to get a little bit harder. And then bring out some more, more stuff here. And just give me a sec. All right. This might be... A little bit different, I guess, but I'm gonna bring out 
A steel. I'm pretty sure it's steel. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, it's steel. I put a magnet to it. So it's a steel tube. Hollow. And it's about nine inches tall. And about maybe half an inch wide in diameter. So while you guys think about that, I'm just gonna give my thoughts on it. I guess it's metal. Uh I guess you can use it as some sort of um self defense thing. I guess I could show it into it if I wanted to. <laughs> For fun, I don't know. Let's see what you guys got. CZ said they had a drill. Laugh a lot. Okay. Okay, water filter. Okay. I guess it's possible. You might be able to. It's not too, too wide, so you might not be able to fit the larger chunks at the top, but you can definitely get charcoal and sand in this. And providing you've got something to plug it at the bottom so it doesn't come all the way out. Because usually if you were using like a water bottle to do that, you would have the lid too, so it's possible. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Blow into the fire, yeah. It's kind of short for this. It's kind of big too, right? Usually, if I remember right, those things that you use to blow into the fire are usually small open uh, uh, openings at the end, so air rushes out but this could be used as the top part right and you can just connect it up and go from there maybe what else we got here glow gun well usually if I remember right glow guns are a little bit narrower are they because you need that air speed going through so you can actually blow it out at a distance because right now, if I blow into it, I'm not going to get much air pressure on there, so... Let's see, what do you, what else do you guys can see in here? I see this right now as a very small type of lever. So, let's say... I put this to a stick, match it up to a stick, I could match this up to a stick that I could wedge inside. So I have a stick right here that's not long enough and it doesn't quite fit in here, but let's say this was longer. That could be an option. Let's say I'm using this for fire, I could, I guess I could, if this was there, I guess I could push the fire, maybe, you know, especially if this is wedged in there. All right, the stick there. This end's not gonna burn, and this is wedged in there, so it take a little bit before it starts to burn out. That could be an option. Okay, uh, uh, you know that might work. That might work. I'm not not big on the trapping, but I know JJR is a little bit more familiar with it, so. If he sees that, uh, a leg for uh, the aforementioned uh, drop traps. Yeah, okay. I'll see what uh, JJR has to say about that if he comes back and sees that. Uh, if you want to remind him when he comes in or whatever. Or if he's listening right now. So, anything else? I guess I can make this kind of sound. I don't know. It's not kind of loud, so it's not probably not good for signaling. But um, I guess uh, if I'm using it for sound, I guess I can hit, hit trees with well, hit sticks or hit trees with it and make sound, right? Makes a pretty good loud type of uh, sound. So let's say you can talk or whatever for whatever reason. Or you're trying to conserve your moisture in your breath because it's cold or really hot out. No way, no. Alright? And just ding uh, something like this. Might help. Let's see what you guys got here.
All right, I used to catch parakeets in Panama with a box and stick string when uh, stick and stick or string when I was growing up. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's that's awesome. I didn't know about that. Never tried it, but you know, something to consider. All right, since this is a, no, this is not, well, probably not quite long enough, but if you had something else, you probably could make something to snorkel with, maybe, although you would need the eye protection probably if you wanted to, but, you know, yeah. All right, or something like that. Anyone else, anyone else with an idea here before I go on to the next item here? Oh, it's the Real Love Festival Survival. Welcome, man. Thank you. Thanks for dropping by, man. Um, right now, we're just kind of doing a improvised kind of... I'm going to show an item. And we're going to discuss survival-related reasons why you would use that item. Or could adapt it for survival reasons. <clears throat> Maybe adapting it for... Uh, kind of a, like a life hack so something to help you day to day or maybe something to help you for example in the garden like make a light a solar light at an XYZ or whatever something similar to that okay let's see okay so okay so it does work okay 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 that's cool, uh, CZ. Alright, let's see. The next item here is going to be... Let's see. Uh, um, alright, alright, alright. I'm going to test you guys out with a different, much different item again. We're going to bring out an eraser. Like this rubber eraser right here. Alright, let's see what you guys can... A rubber eraser. Common item. Schools have them. You might see them on the back of a pen, uh, behind a, on the other end of a pencil. You might find bigger erasers. Some are pink, some are white. I mean, like, so I mean, some are bigger, and you know, they come in different shapes too. So, let's say a common eraser. What could you do with that? Let's see what you guys have for an eraser. All right, go. <laughs> Let's see what you guys have. All right, roll us. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Get to push that iron. <clears throat> MN the gang. Hello. That's with uh, EM. All right. Uh, the real thing. I want to rebuild a van and make a camper van. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. So, like I said, an eraser. Now. I've actually used the used this for um, for the electronics. Some of the electronics I have, sometimes there's like that corrosion or something in the way, and I've used an eraser to kind of remove it. I've done that twice before. Uh, once with an old school flip phone that I was having problems with a charger, and I've done it more recently with a USB device I had that was using and suddenly it just stopped working and I thought, oh, you right. I just used an eraser and it fixed it. So, let's see what you guys got. All right, all right, use it to store pushments, okay. Use it to store pushments. I guess in theory, similar to that, you probably could use an eraser to maybe store or hook on fishing hooks too, right? So, you know, maybe, and use it to keep the fishing hook from poking you in a kit, like in the tin, like an Altoids tin, for example. So maybe like one of those smaller ones from like the back of or the top of a pencil might work. Okay, okay, you can see that. Uh, I guess you can use it for any type of pins, uh, clothes pins, probably too, if you wanted to. Might help. 
Let's see what we got. Yes, 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 the real, yeah, eraser. Yeah, to store pins. Or safety pins, I guess. I've seen that before. Although, I guess it would be better if you had a bigger eraser because usually you have, your pins are, you probably have a stack of pins. But, let's just say they're not in a box and you just have a few and you just kind of want to, right? I guess you could do something like that. At least keep it more organized. Let's see. Okay, okay, Sue so uses corks for fish hooks. I'm assuming you're talking about the same thing that I was talking about with the racer, kind of, that kind of thinking about it. Alright, now I've kind of mentioned this before, but now let me grab a... quick blade here. I've actually, sh it is possible if you didn't have anything to strop your blade with, for example, you could, because an eraser is soft, you can press into it, you could use it to strop or clean off parts of the blade from a knife blade. So let's say you got like, I don't know, tree sap over it or whatever, you know, and you want to, you don't want to put your tree sap filled knife back into the sheath or if it's a folder, put it back in because it might get stuck, be harder for you to remove it afterwards and stuff like that. So using an eraser might be able to, you know, short of a, for lack of a better word, erase or remove that a little bit easier. You know, a brace, it's a little bit abrasive, I guess. So you get something stuck in there, you you might be able to get it out. Okay. Let's see what you guys got here. Use it for a motor mount when you... <laughs> I'm at... Oh, mount when you get... Put it together a machine. Okay, okay. Yeah, I guess, maybe. Uh, um, I guess... I guess I'll mention this, but... It's... Since it's more like a rubber... Well... It's going to be similar probably to like a ranger brand and you know ranger brands can burn if need be so I guess you could shave off some of the racer use it to help you start the fire I mean if you already had the pencil if you had the pencil already I mean you got that part I mean maybe the race the racer should be similar to like like a uh, rubber from like uh, inner tube so it might be a little bit more resistant to the water yet still burn let's see what you guys got you might be able to use it to fix a seal in the window oh like a plug right like a plug like a cork right and just push it in there let's say you had tape afterwards and you can just plug it in plug it and seal it and maybe it might work uh, okay okay I can see that I can see that I've known that uh, corks or plugs are useful in survival, especially if you're lost on the ocean, because usually the only thing you got with you, if anything, if you had to ditch your boat or whatever, is like a life, uh, a life, um, life boat, yeah, right, so it could be possible, especially if you, let's say you got a round eraser, it might, it might help, it might actually help. Or you got the, you cut it just right, fit it in there, seal it up, maybe use some pine pitch or whatever. It might actually work. Not quite sure, because I haven't done it yet, obviously. So, let's see what else you guys got. Uh, I sometimes use mine to pop up a hot computer so when it, oh yeah, to get more movement in there. Alright, I'm in the game. That's awesome. That's kind of thinking outside the box a bit, right? You know, like your laptop, you might be able to prop it up, right? That's good, that's good. Okay, I can dig that. But I guess you would need two to prop it up, but one might help a little. Something that you already have nearby. Okay, okay, let's see. Uh, cut into fin... Oh, yeah, 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 exactly like I was saying, the real. Cut into fin strips and 
and on a car window it might help I've never tried it but you know we're just kind of thinking thinking outside the box you know maybe it might work maybe not you know unless someone's done it well I would know right I don't know I've never tried it until I see it or people explain it to me more or have tried it it's just a theory so in theories are meant to be proven either true or false a door stop a door stop mm, it might work it might work depending on the if it's carpet might not work but it's hard floor it might work or at least delay delay it so it's harder to push the door open for example also you're not gonna do that in a break-in that's probably not gonna be sufficient enough right but it might work for like just a temporary thing where you're moving into a building and you just gotta prop the door open eh, it could work you get an eraser in your pocket you as a door stopper or something it might work let's see uh... alright it is rubber seal okay okay alright enough about the rubber eraser that was very entertaining of uh... exploration of what you could do or use it for outside the box Whew. let's see what else do we uh, I'm gonna bring a nerd item here in just a second here just checking on messages alright let's see what else do we got that a little bit different that I maybe didn't show in the last one alright 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 I'm gonna bring out something right here let's see what you guys got Let's see what you guys got for this. Here's an item right here. From a broken reel. This reel. It is not in really good working order. I'll show you guys. See, you can see. I spin. It will spin one way when I spin the reel. As soon as I hold it, like it's supposed to, it doesn't really want to do its thing. Show, show it around it used to have something on there this is just something I have randomly around now I have actually came up with something array for this so let's see what you guys could do with this this might be a little bit more challenging for some of you but you know let's see right what could you do with this now remember, I can't use this as a fishing reel anymore. It's not working quite well as a fishing reel anymore, but like I said, it still does spin. So, who's got some ideas? Uh, Alright, I'll show this around. This rotates. This rotates. Right, there's some a bolt or something like that. Uh, so, let's see what you guys got. All right, all right, that's cool with the reel. Oh, but fishing, I don't know, maybe. You're not going to be able to really reel it in. Like I said, once the button's pushed, I can't, I, I can do this, but it doesn't allow me to retract it or bring it back to the air. Not, in, not without some modification. But for fishing, it could be possible, I guess. It might be possible, but I'm not sure. You would have to try it out. So, I'm going to bring out a couple of ideas right now about it that I could try out. Now, you could connect this up since this wrote. Everyone can see that this rotates. Every time I rotate the reel, the center rotates right here. So in theory, I could probably make this into a mechanical mixer. All I gotta do is put, join this up with some sort of mixing type of, um, like a whisk or something like that. Mix my coffee. You know, it, I'm not gonna get the revolutions for into RPMs, obviously, right? Because it's mechanical, but because it's mechanical, I'm not using power, uh, electricity either, so, you know, you gotta blend something together, you know, and you don't have access to power or it grids down, 
could be an option. So let's see what else you guys got. Okay, okay. I'll get the real. <laughs> what about what about an art project and call it the broken reel? No fishing today. Eh, I guess so, right? I guess if you were making you know, like uh um what's it called? Like a cabin or something or uh maybe you your ice fishers or whatever, I guess you could Put it up and be like, say it as a joke and, you know, bring you a laugh when, every time someone sees it. You know, you know, morale type of booster, I guess, for, for a funny thing. I guess so. So, anything else here? Now, I haven't tried this. I've tried the whisk part already, like I was saying. But, because this spins, now I'm not sure, you might be able to connect it up with uh, a motor with a little bit more electronic type of things or knowledge if you had it. Maybe make it into a motor. It, this does spin, similar to like hand cranks and stuff like that. You might be able to do it with this, not sure. But you do have that turning motion. Let's see what else you guys got? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, this is the outside the box kind of thinking the real. So just kind of doing it with you guys, because I've actually, I thought I thought of enough reasons to keep this, but right now I haven't thought of enough. Besides the whisk. The whisk just... I've done it already with coffee and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. You know. Might be useful, like I said, to make a whisk for, like, gravy, for example, right? Everyone made gravy during the holiday season and or any other time of year for whatever reason. Big gatherings or whatever. Or family events. You know, instead of standing there and just whisking the whole time. You know, you just go... Doo -doo 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 -doo, right? You can build up speed too, right? And go from there. So, yes, this was a hard one. You guys did pretty good. Because I haven't thought of much more to do with that right now. A pulley? You know, it might work, but I, I, I don't think you're going to get enough torque in there. It'd be good for light stuff, but I don't know for heavier stuff. It might not work for that. Because... This bit right here is not that tall. If you, if you extended it, maybe, but usually pulleys have, is like a spool, so there's two sides to it. So without just being one-sided, it might slip off or something like that. But that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Won't work in this case, the real, but yeah, yeah. Good kind of outside-the-box thinking, right? Let's see, what else? Uh, you could use it to do the off-grid version of a blender with box cutters or box. Yeah box cutter blades. Yeah in theory Yeah, yeah, just like the whisk right you just kind of want to extend it. So it's not right next to it, but It's something to consider Might work especially if I mean there's threads along here right here where The cab would go on or whatever. I mean if you could find a suitable container then it has similar friends or make one or improvise one. Stick something in there. I guess you could actually make a mechanical blender. It's possible. Not sure how well it works, but you know, it might be useful. It might be faster than trying to chop by hand. Or, you know, you you make it nice and safe so it puts it into a container. Have someone younger use it. That's not experienced with knives and stuff like that. And they can just be like, okay, I'm helping you chop the vegetables or, you know, maybe help mash potatoes. I don't know. All right. Uh, a ridge line. 
Um, I guess if you have the cordage with it, uh, the reel, I guess. All right, I know you guys thought that was a hard one, so I'll kind of try to bring an easier one now. All right, all right, I'll bring an easier one for you guys here. And slightly easier one, uh, let me see, CZ said, we got an evil machine going here, Roman Blades. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm going to bring a different item here. Alright, the next item here is going to be a bottle that came from, like, shampoo, conditioner, a hygiene type of item, maybe body wash. You know, and that's anything specific, right, for a brand or whatever, but, so, something like this. And, you know, maybe, so, you know, similar to ones that you might have right now, close by, in a washroom. So, what can you do with this? Now, here's one thing. I could squeeze it. So... You can now, uh, let's see, I'll hold the tissue right here, right next to it, uh, let's see, alright, so I can blow air, blowing air means I can blow air into a fire, maybe cool myself off, alright, if there's liquid in there, blow out water with air and, you know, maybe cool myself off, just squeezing it, any other ideas? Uh, this lid could come off, in this case, so I could fill it up, I guess, store water in it, if need be, right, if that was the only option you had, or to transfer water to make it more potable, I guess, or, uh, and I know Z, 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 uh, CZ is probably going to say it again, so I'm waiting for that. A Swedish canteen set. All you need is a cup. Meh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Probably not ideal for carrying water, but you know, if you're just boiling it after or filtering it after, and eh, you know, it's not the best. There's probably better things, but if that's all you had, it could help you in that situation. Get, you know. All right. Poor Rollis, man. Poor Rollis. Yeah, that sucks, man. That sucks. Yeah. I've had my uh, foot ran over my car before, so... Yeah, I know that's really, really heavy. And that's just like a light, you know, weight that you have in comparison to a car. A car, you don't feel that, you know, three quarters of a ton, you know. Yo, it's Happy Trails Hiking. Welcome. And yes, uh, C, C, Z, yes, exactly. And I'll get back to that in a sec. Uh, I know you are probably haven't dropped in that long, Happy Trails hiking. So basically, I'm showing off an item, and we're thinking on ways to reuse it for survival reasons, maybe as a life hack of sorts, the DIY thing, something to help you day-to-day, -day, maybe... Uh, you don't quite have the right gear with you, but you have this, and could this work? Maybe something to even make your garden more beautiful to attract more insects, for example, uh, attract more birds, something like that, or some sort of random DIY solar light and something like that. So, you know, we're kind of thinking outside the box with this kind of game. Sorts. All right, let's see. Yes, water filter ZZ. Yep. In theory, you probably could. Not ideal, but you know, you put the charcoal at the bottom, put the sand and all that stuff. You got a container to put it into. Put some holes at the bottom, or do it the other way and be able to squeeze it out. I'll show this to Happy Trails Hiking. All right. 
This is just a shampoo, conditioner, body wash type of bottle. Some You might have something similar, a little bit different. I've seen a bunch of bottles. Everyone knows what those bottles look like. So, I've shown this off already, but makes the sound. Air comes out because I can squeeze it. So I can make this into a, a bellows of some sort. Put air onto my face if I'm getting warm, like right now. To cool myself off. Maybe it has cold water in, a little bit of cold water, so it shoots out cold water. To cool, help you cool off. It's possible. Let's see what you guys got. Uh, of course, the funnel could be used on any neck bottle. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. You might have to use... If you had a funnel, I guess you could get it in there. Um, you know, I guess you could store something else. Let's say... I've shown it before. I guess if you wanted to, you could store petroleum jelly in this. It's a little big for it. Probably not quite as good as some of the other things I've shown that could be more, a little bit easier to use. Well, you know, maybe this is a smaller size, a travel size type of bottle, similar to that. You know, that might work. All right, all right, all right. Uh, happy trails uh, hiking. He thinks it's a cool, neat idea for a chat. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. I just kind of came up with it, like, the other day on the last live chat. That's just kind of the thing I was doing, and I'm like, well, oh, you know what? This is kind of fun. Interactive. You guys can interact. Exchange ideas. No really right or wrong answer, but we're just exploring the ideas. Considering it. You know? You know, because in certain situations, you got to consider all the options. Consider everything, all the resources you have. In survival situations, you gotta consider everything you got on you, right? Can X, Y, Z help me here? Make fire, water, make water clean, make shelter, help me get food, gather water, help me signal, maybe help me thread out. I mean, deal with predators, uh, maybe uh, and stuff like that. Anyways, let's see. Oh, thanks, the real. God bless you too, man. Okay, CZ said, cut the bottle of the bottle and remove the cap to make a funnel. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay, I guess you could if you needed a funnel. You know, maybe you're transferring more oil into a new engine or whatever, or doing an oil change or something like that, and you need a funnel. Maybe you're pouring gas out from some sort of a, a, uh, major crisis or whatever, and you got to transfer gas. Because, you know, because you got to do it. Because you're leaving and you're transferring this, you know, half jerry cans of gas into a fuller one. So you, so it takes up less space. I don't know. Could be useful. Or uh, you're doing an oil change for, like, uh, a snowblower. I mean, could be useful. Something you already have. Don't have to buy anything. Just a little bit of work. Might work. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, the real, all right, that's a good idea. Since it's a container, you probably could store berries or something similar in the side. Especially if you had a knife or some sort of cutting tool array, just cut off the top and use it as a way to, you know, maybe you have some cordage as a way to hold something, to store something, okay? What else? What else here? I'm going to suggest something else too. Since this, depending on the color now, you could use this as a diffuser. Let's say you got a flashlight that can fit in there. You put it in there, turn it on, put it back, the lid back on. You have a diffuser that in this case would be red. Now, depending how well the light comes out and stuff like that in the color, right? Put cordage around it sig for signaling purposes, maybe... I guess in theory you could uh, set this up, let's say, uh, as a marker or some sort. I don't know. Especially since it's red. Uh, flotation? Minor flotation? I at least help you with more of the. If you had to float something, it would give you more buoyancy, more stuff to use as buoyancy. And assuming you have something in addition to, like, Let's say garbage bags, five, uh, five gallon 
you know, uh, buckets and stuff like that, or, you know, assuming something like a flood or something like that. Keep something more waterproof, right? Could work. You know, maybe you're putting a lighter in here, I don't know. Or your light, or your lighter, your torch or light or flashlight, if it fits in here. Might work. Let's see what else you got. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much it's a container, so you can hold anything in this. And, you know, arrowheads, whatever, whatever can fit in it. You know, you put electrical tape around it to make it more waterproof, for example. So you can submerge it if need be. Especially if you're in a flood zone for some reason. You know, springtime's coming up around lots of places in the Northern Hemisphere. You know, maybe your air is more prone to flooding. You know, something like this might be, be like, oh, I can put my lighter in here. I can, you know, keep it dry. It'll float too, right? So it'll keep it above the water and you know where it is. Course. Let's see. All right, CZ. Thank you for dropping by. I enjoy your feedback on the uh, items that I've shown. Let's see. All right, all right. Thanks. Uh, the real. I've actually kind of have two videos about diffusers already about improvised diffusers and you'll kind of see similar ideas about it all right since we're done with this let's get another item here another item right another item let's see what we can do with it uh do you guys want a harder one or a more difficult one to try out and let's make it a little bit more challenging in this case let's see what we can do with with let's see I wish I didn't cut that one I would show it <laughs> uh let's see what do we have here what oh okay 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 I think I got it um let's see here where did I put it Okay, okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. Just give me a sec, I just gotta pull it out here. Alright. Here's a, here's more of an electronic thing. And what we're we're used you're probably using you might be using one when you're right now if you use a laptop or a desktop, but I'm gonna bring out A wired mouse. Now, you're probably like, well, probably not in a survival situation. You don't have a wired mouse. But let's say you're more at home, at the office, you know, and then let's say you get a spare mouse. I, you know, this is very probably you're know, probably not gonna use a mouse to do something, but maybe it's a used mouse an old mouse, a mouse that's already broken. <clears throat> so, or, you know, you're replacing it, or you found it. I mean, I found a mouse before. So, and of course I'm talking about tech, electronic mouse, so. Let's see what you guys got for this. A little bit more difficult. So, I'll start it off with, yes, yes, of course, of course, the reels don't say cordage, yes. It is possible. It is possible. Some of these cords are quite long on them. Uh, and they're multi strands, so you know, you might be able to use the strands if possible. Uh, since th since this conducts electricity, anything similar for electricity, power, right? Let's say for example, everyone you everyone's familiar with USB, right? It delivers both data like if you're transferring like photos or pictures from your camera or phone for example and it transfers power hence you use USB to plug into a desktop laptop or whatever or your whatever device and you recharge your phone or tablet or whatever so in theory you probably could slice off this USB cable off at this end and use it to make another cable Maybe, 
maybe there's a flashlight, for example, you got no batteries for it. You got a battery bank, right? And, you know, it takes, let's say, four double A's, double A's, so six volts of power. USB runs at five volts, so you underrun the power on it, but it would work. And I have done that with USB, with lights before, with but it, that only works with ones that for six volts. It's possible. I've done it before. Not ideal, but it's possible. Now, everyone, some of these will release a light source, so it could be possible to use that in some way. I've tr sort of tried it. It's not too too difficult. Now, of course, there's other things like, let's say, uh, there might be a, a screw that you could use, maybe. Uh, there's a wheel on this one, so you might be making something and you just need a little bit of a gap or whatever. You know, just pop that in. Let's see what you guys got. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. I gotta catch up to you guys here. Uh, beer belly. Oh yeah, okay. Beer belly travelers, or BBT, which I'll call you, if you don't mind. Uh, all right, all right. Happy trails hiking sent you over. Okay, thank you for dropping by. I appreciate it. Uh. Oh yeah, strangle. Yep. Um, I forget what that's called, but hopefully someone will remind me what it's called. But yeah, you could do for self-defense or, you know, type of reason, so monkey fist. Alright, okay, you like the topic, okay, okay. Uh, if you don't know what I'm doing, just let me know and I'll re-say it all again. <laughs> Alright, I just joined the community to see right up. Our ally reduce reuse reduce. Oh, that's awesome, man. Thank you. <coughs> reduce, reuse, recycle, and think outside the box. Okay, okay. Now, in theory, I'm not sure if this completely works because it might not be powerful enough because of a spark, but. Since this can transfer electricity, if you can actually power the one USB side, let's say, I'm not sure, but I think this can work. And if it doesn't, well, obviously, a car battery would work, but I'm not sure if the voltage is high enough to actually start it, like something like gasoline. So if you can get electricity to run through, get that spark, get it to ignite something like gasoline, it might work. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the power is enough to drive that. So something that I'll kind of randomly try. Maybe try with something less volatile or something like that. Just see. Because I know sometimes electrical sparks don't actually ignite certain things. Like if you had like a and a big that has a wheel on it, but the wheel is broken or no flint in it. I mean, like, you can start it off with, like, an electric spark. It's possible. Like, from an electric spark from a barbecue lighter. You know, if you can get that to, get this to arc, you might be able to get, get that spark and might work with something like gasoline. Let's see what you guys got here. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, thanks the real man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right back at you, man. Thank you. Alright. I'm gonna give this one a break here. I'll bring something a little bit more easy again for you guys here. Well, as soon as I put the mouse away. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, all right. I think I'll make this. This one's probably gonna be a little bit easier, but a tube. Now this is a plastic type of tube. Do I have no? Do I know where it came from? No, I don't. So if you know where this actually could have came from, let me know. But here's a tube right here. It is about let's say four feet long. Openings on both ends. There's no holes in it. So. Let's see what we got here. I'll start it off with something easy. Water. This could be used to divert rainwater. Divert water. And similar to di diverting liquids like water, in theory you can use it probably to help siphon something. So I'll, I'll start off with that. So a tube like this. Any uh, any other ideas? Maybe something to help with gardening. Maybe maybe you're using it to make some sort of irrigation so it drips water along the path maybe something like that all right third world problem we got cut a piece off and fill it with sand to be used as improvised weapon yeah, 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 I guess so, right? It's long enough. I guess if you can fill it with something heavier enough, you could use it like a whip. It'd be kind of heavier than a whip. So, and of course, once it busts, well, all your sand's gone, but... <coughs> Excuse me. It could be an option. Uh, of course, you know, you probably could tie it. Not really the best kind of cordage, but could be useful if you needed it for that reason. Um, I'm gonna give another thing here. Back in, I forget what, when that, what year is, I would have to take a look at it. Uh, it might have been in the 20s or whatever, back, but, well, up last millennium, but, um, before the invention of, let's say, of, for firefighters about with having oxygen mass, an oxygen tank and stuff like that, one of the first things that they tried to do was, everyone knows that smoke rises, dark smoke rises, that white stuff rises, but the cleaner air is at the bottom if you had to evacuate from a fire, for example. So, in theory, I could use this, breathe for this, have the tube at the bottom, where the ground, at ground level, where the air is cooler, more oxygen, breathe that, but still be able to stand up. It's an option. So, it'd be like, I would, I would put this at the bottom, on the floor, right? And keep moving, breathing in and out, and hopefully that air will be cooler and more oxygen in it. You know, depending on the fire, but obviously this is plastic, right? It's not metal. That's the only downside, I guess, but... But I guess on the same idea, I could use this as, uh, let's say, for snorkeling, for example, right? Cut it, use it as a snorkel. It's long enough, you know, so it'll reach to the surface, maybe... So I can get underwater and take a look or whatever and be like, okay. Yeah, yeah, outdoor, outdoor run 68, yeah, snorkeling, it is possible. Uh, like I said earlier, you can transfer rainwater, transfer water, similar to like a hose, for example. <coughs> Um, another thing you probably could do since you can transfer liquids into it, transfer our fluids or liquids like gas or whatever, maybe you have a funnel at the top and you're helping it to funnel into something, 
right? That might help. Uh, similar to the funnel or siphoning, I guess you can make a filter from this. Same, same way, charcoal, sand, whatever you have with you, right? Plug the bottom so everything doesn't come all the way out. But I guess you could just have it rounded off so it doesn't come all the way up. So you just kind of tilt it and water comes out. It's an idea. Well, I guess specifically with this one right here, the ends connect together. So. Not really the best hula hoop in the world, but I guess you could spin this and entertain yourself for a little bit, Michael. Hula hooping. Right? Um, another idea is, I guess, if you had some sort of, let's say, flag, shirt, or something like that, you could hang it. Hang it, maybe use it for signaling purposes with a flag, with a mylar blanket that you kind of put around it so you can hold it onto this one side and kind of try to tighten it and make a, a larger reflector that has surface area not ideal but it may help just because you got the surface area of the mylar over this large area and you got something and it's round so I think I've gone enough for that one right now all right Let's see, I'll bring another item here as soon as I put this away here. Alright, let's bring out another item. <clears throat> hmm, let's see here. Alright, alright, I'm gonna bring an easy item out for you guys here. Easy item, easy item. But, a piece of broken glass or mirror. It's shiny on the other side. Just take my word for it. Glass mirror, glass mirror or glass. Now this is probably a little bit more straightforward. So. You know, let's get a, obviously, signaling, it's still a mirror. It's glass, so it's sharp. So those two things are probably the most likely things you would use it for. But let's say, any air things. This might be more difficult or easy. I don't know, it depends how you see it. So one of the things you could do with a piece of glass like this or a mirror is actually use it as a scraping tool for wood or with a spark method like a ferro rod. You could strike it because it's got it's got a sharper angle so it'll kind of remove that material and you know you're not get a spark from it because you're doing it fast. Combined with the friction, you're going to get a spark, and from there. Oh, there we go, there we go. Sharpen the knife, yes. Yes, in theory, you can do this great, but I think it needs to be flat along one side. At least one side has to be fairly flat. If it's too curved, I mean, like, unless your knife or whatever you're sharpening is curved, it might not help. So sharper knife, okay. Yep. Uh, let's see what else. I guess if you were good enough to flint nap glass like this, you might be able to get it into a certain shape 
for like an arrowhead as possible. Although glass is kind of a little bit more fragile, so it might work once or twice at the most before it shatters. But, you know, if you aim good and mean it's pointy enough, it might help you out and might be useful. Now, obviously, a mirror can be used for signaling purposes here. Let's see. All right. Signaling purposes, use the V to sight it in your hands and aim it so the light's between the hands, especially if you don't have one specifically meant for signaling purposes that has the marker, I mean, not the marker, but the hole in the mid middle to kind of sight it. So anything else? So pretty much, I guess, mirrors going to be used for signaling and cutting type of purposes. Maybe as a strike, uh, strike, uh, scraper or striker for a fair rod or to uh, scrape materials, whatever. To fluff them up, get surface area for a fire, for example. All right. Well, that was really fun. Oh, you guys are awesome. I want to. I appreciate everyone that's dropped by for this live stream to check out this kind of more interactive kind of thing. You know, leave me a comment on the side chat right now, or if you're watching this pre-processed, leave me a comment down below or on the side chat. Like I said. If you want to see more of this kind of activity for outside the box type of thinking activity slash game or whatever I'm gonna call it, <laughs> so let me know. So it's it's time for my outro here. So thanks for everyone that's sticking around. I appreciate it. Everyone that's been subbing in, I greatly appreciate it too. Everyone's been checking out my channel, give me my view hours and all that stuff. I greatly appreciate it. You know, people that's been uh, supportive of the channel, even constructive kind of comments, positive comments. Uh, even questions, you know, I don't know all the answers, but I'm, maybe I might be able to direct you somewhere a little bit better, some info, maybe something to consider and stuff like that. So, I guess it's time for the outro. Now, as the world changes so much oneself to reach a new level of skill and knowledge, one must practice. A single person can't help everyone in this world, but one person can help someone in this world. I hope you enjoyed this kind of outside the box, reducing, reusing, and trying to recycle and use resources differently, game, or activity. So until the next video, guys, it's peace out from the guy that's always in creation mode, creative redundancy, peace out, and thanks.